I'm Mamoru Sasaki, 27. I've got two brothers, the older one is 31, and the younger one is 27. I live with my parents at the moment. Ouch! You okay, Dad? My hips. <laughs> they hurt so bad. Lay down. Let me give you a massage. Ah, oh, that feels amazing. You're a lifesaver, Mamoru. You're the best son ever. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Two years ago, Dad injured his legs. He could still walk and stuff, but he was having trouble going up and down stairs. So, I bought a condo near the station and told him to move in with me. My older brother got married about a year ago and had kids. My younger brother also got married a few months back. I was the only one that wasn't married. I got a girlfriend, and I'm thinking about asking her to marry me soon, but... I don't know. My parents might miss me. Then, one cold winter day... My little brother showed up. He said his company went out of business. Sorry to ask, but can I stay here for a while? Uh, until I get a new job. You've got some extra rooms. Come on in. Thank you. My little brother graduated from a good college, and he had all kinds of credentials, so I'm sure he'll get a new job soon. Hey, man, thanks for doing this. Of course. No need to rush. You can stay here as long as you'd like. Thanks. Uh, you, you going somewhere? Yeah, I gotta go abroad for a few months. I'm trying to expand the business. Look after mom and dad for me, will you? Sure. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, Mickey, thank you. Of course, it's the least I can do. Oh, thanks. Mamoru is going away on a business trip, and my husband, uh, he can't move around much, so you're a lifesaver. Good to hear. By the way... Your son, he dropped out of college, right? Um, what does he do? Yeah, he dropped out his junior year, I think. Um, his classmate started a business, and he started helping him. Then work just took over, I guess. He said he didn't have time for college anymore. Oh, I see. So he doesn't even have a college degree? Pfft, what a loser. They must be really disappointed in him. I mean... He's almost 30 years old. Why is he living with his parents? Huh, I'm gonna try and get him kicked out. Then we'll move in with them for good, and maybe someday they'll give us the condo. The next day, I headed to the airport for my business trip. Later! See ya! I was worried about my parents at first, but my little brother was there with his wife, so I'm sure they'll be fine. Then, three months later... Hey, you're back! Whoa, what the... <laughs> what are you doing here? Hey, man. You uh, asked us to help around the house. Oh, all you guys do is make a mess. Oh, whatever. It's nice to have company. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for helping out. Look, it's the college dropout. Why did he have to come back? Yeah, what a loser. Huh? What did they just say to me? Mamadou, you're back. <laughs> come on, have a beer with me. Here you go, sir. Drink up. Thanks. Here you go. Welcome home. What the? They're nice all of a sudden? My brother's wives. They were acting all weird. What happened? They, they weren't like this before. Whenever I was alone with them, they said really mean things to me. Mamoru, you're not going away for a while, right? Oh, thank goodness. What do you mean? After you left, uh, Mickey stopped helping me around the house. I had to do everything on my own. And your older brother's wife started coming over and... They even told me to look after their kids for them. I'm not running a daycare here. What? Seriously? Yeah. Dad was happy to see his grandkids at first, but they come here almost every day, so... And they always hang out in the living room. It got kind of awkward. Why didn't you say anything? Oh, I don't know. I didn't want to make things more awkward. You think you can talk to them, please? Of course. I'm going to have a chat with them. No worries. Oh, thank you, Mamoru. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. You'd make a great husband someday. You got a girlfriend, right? How did she know? Then, that evening, I got a call from my dad while I was still at work. The two wives are... they're fighting. It's getting out of control. What? I asked my colleagues to cover for me and ran back home. They were still fighting when I got back. Hey, what happened? No idea. I just got here too. 
Your husband is the youngest. My husband is their oldest son, so back off. We are their favorite, not you guys. But we live here, you don't. Settle down, you two, what are you fighting for? You're hoping they'll give you the condo, aren't you? Not on my watch. Huh? Ugh, screw you, they care about us. That's why they're letting us live here. Wait, they're fighting over the condo? Oh, uh, wait, is that why she started coming over? Hold on, Mamadou lives here too, you realize that, right? Screw him, he's a college dropout, he's a loser. What kind of grown man lives with his parents? He's almost 30 years old. Uh... Yeah, move out already? We'll take it from here. Uh, he dropped out, sure, but he got into the best college in the country. Huh? Uh, so what? That doesn't matter. Yeah, and he's still single. Does he even have a job? Kick him out of the house already. What are you talking about? Mamadou is a vice president of a company. He dropped out of college to focus on his business. Vice president? Uh, yeah. I've been doing this for six years now. Back in college, my classmate started a business, and he asked me to help out. So I decided to join him. The business was a big hit. About a year later, my classmate asked me to come work for him. Will you come work for me? You'll have to quit school, but I know you can do this. But I, I need your help. Okay. I was in my junior year at the time, but I decided to drop out and focus my time and energy on the business. It was a tough call to make, but I think it was a good decision. A few years later, he made me vice president, and I met someone through work, too, so life was good. Not sure why they looked down on me like that, but... Whatever, it's probably a small company. My husband probably makes more than him, but I guess that's better than being unemployed. Ugh, shut up, he'll get a job soon. <sighs> I hate to admit this, but Mamadou makes much more than I do. Oh, hey, you're home. Not sure what you two are talking about, but Mamadou bought this condo with his own money. It's under his name, you know? What? Wait, didn't you tell them? No, why would I? I didn't think it was relevant. So that's why you were doing all this. What's wrong with you? You should be here looking for a job to help out your husband. Instead, you stay home all day doing nothing. And you, look after your own kid. This isn't a daycare. Wait, what? Hold on. Uh, I think we should all talk. That's actually why I called you here today. <sighs> what the hell is wrong with you? Come here now. We gotta talk. Same. Let me talk to my wife first. Uh, oh, uh, okay. So, they thought this condo was under my dad's name. That's why they were pretending to be nice to him, hoping he'd give them the condo. They thought they were set for life, so they brought all kinds of stuff too. Almost all their savings were gone. I'm gonna have a long talk with her. Then, they left. Six months later, my little brother left his wife. A year later, my older brother left his wife and took his kid with him. He tried to make it work for his daughter, but his wife was out of control. He had no choice. Then, a few months later, I asked my girlfriend to marry me. Hello, I'm Sachi Nishimura. I work with Mamoru. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, what's your view on money? Yeah, tell us. Are you the greedy type? <clears throat> hey, stop it, you two! Mamoru, I don't want you making the same mistakes we did. Yeah, we just want to make sure. Shut up, it's not like that. I guess it's hard for them to trust women after what happened with their wives. It's understandable, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes money changes people. It makes them do things they wouldn't do otherwise. Whew, scary. What did you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.